I was lost. But these laws help me find my people. And now we meet up every year for Feast of Tabs. All praise to the Most High. I found a way to dwell with my brothers and my sisters. Glory to you I found what's missing, now I live the scriptures. Used to be in my A. I followed the wind and linked up with my brethren. Forget about the past, follow the cloud that's in front of me and read the blessings. I found a way. 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 I got a kill right now. What are you reading? Samuel. Samuel. Okay, the book of Samuel. Alright, so give me um give me first Samuel's. Alright? See, reading the book of Samuel's. Very important. Alright? You love what you're doing? Where are you from? From Connecticut? Where's your family from? Like, what's your family from? Dominican. Okay, Dominican Republic. So, as a Dominican sister, you need to know your heritage. I'm going to show you something. Alright? The, the, the Dominican, the people, the, the people from the Dominican Republic, you see that Dominican? You're from the tribe of Simeon. That's right. Simeon. Right? So, you read the Bible, right? So in the Bible, God has a chosen people, the 12 tribes of Israel. You out of the second son, right, are the 12 sons of Jacob, right? Only if we want to have one. If you want it. Right? If you want to have one. And where, and where does that relationship live? How do you get a relationship with God? Huh? Within you? So then why are you reading the Bible? Let me show you something. Give me your, give me your Psalm 40, verse 7. Mm -hmm. Psalm 91, 91, protection, right? right? You like the protection from the most high. Yes, sir. That's right. Our shield. Right. Our shield. Well, I'm, I'm going to uh, read Psalms 40 and 7 for you, though. Read it. Psalms 40, verse 7. 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 Right. Then said I, uh -huh. Lo, I come in the volume of the book. Read that again. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. Right? The Bible is written of God. So if we really want a relationship with Him, it has to come from the Bible. That's right. What the Bible says. That's how we get a. He, he, that's where we connect with Him. Right? Well, we got to connect to the Bible. Right? I'm going to read Isaiah. Um, 34, 17, 16, 34, 16. Mm -hmm. All right, so now, you think God is in your heart? Okay, I'm going to read something to you. Can we, can we read something? Can I read, can I read something in the Bible for you? All right. Um, after you give me that, give me Jeremiah 17, verse 9. All right, read that. Isaiah 34, verse 16. Bring it out. Seek ye out of a book of the law and read. And what? And read. No one of these shall fail. Nothing in the Bible is going to fail you. The Bible tells us, tells you, what's your name? Carolyn? Carolyn, my name is Shalomar. The Bible says to Carolyn, Carolyn, you can't eat pork, ham, shrimp, or lobster. Right? Uh, is Carolyn going to stop eating those things? Why not? I thought you loved God. It is about that. But what kind of relationship is it? Do you love him or not? You, do you really love him? Do you love him? I'm going to read this again. Read it. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. Nothing in the Bible will fail you, Caroline. Go ahead. None shall want her mate. And there's no other book like the Bible. Yes. Give me um, Jeremiah. Read that. Jeremiah 17 verse 9. The heart is deceitful. Listen, your heart, your heart is deceitful. Your heart is tricky. Read that again. The heart is deceitful. The heart is deceitful. Above the heart is deceitful. Your mind is deceitful. Above all things and desperately wicked. Our hearts are deceitful. We can think we're doing the right thing. So sometimes we're not doing the right thing, Caroline. Caroline, if you're not keeping the Lord's commandments, you're not doing the right thing. So you got to keep the commandments, right? I'll give, I'm going to give Caroline one more scripture and I'm going to let her go. Give me um, 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 John 14. 
Not 14. Well, I think your is, is your friend. Is your friend? Yeah, we just can't leave her. I can't no, no, I don't want you to leave her. Please don't leave her. Stay, stay here with us. Read it. Don't leave her yet. All right. Read that. 14 verse 15. John 14 verse 15. If ye love me. Read it again. If ye love me. Read it again. If ye love me. Do you love Christ, Caroline? Do you love him? Read again. If ye love me. Do you love Christ, Caroline? Let's read them. So pay close attention. If ye love me, you love me. Keep my commandments. God said, "Keep my commandments." If you love me, do you love God? Do you love Christ? You have to keep the commandments, then, Caroline. Only if we keep the commandments. Give me our first John two and one. Only if we keep the commandments, Caroline. The beauty of Jesus is that He died for us, right? For us. So listen, what Jesus is telling us. Verse John chapter 2 verse 1 My little children My little children That's you Caroline My little children These things My little My little children My little children My little children These things I write unto you These things he writes unto you God Caroline He's writing to you Go ahead That ye sin not That you what? That ye sin not Carolina Caroline Read it again That My little children right these things i write unto you why he wrote this that ye sin not that he what that, that ye, ye sin, sin not. not the heavenly father wrote this bible gave us this instruction so that we sin not that's right we want a relationship with god but we want to sin too right right we got to make a decision right either you love god or you don't right either you love christ or you don't right you can't love him at only when he lets you do what you want to do right a lot of people say they love their parents but how you feel when your parents put you and ground you and tell you you can't go outside and you got to do your homework, right? Then you, know, you feel a different way, but you still got to love them. The same way with the Most High God. If he tells you what to do, you still got to love him, right? Read that again. My little children, right? these things are right unto you. What's going on, y'all boys? I hear the word of the Most High. What's up? What y'all getting into? We trying to bring out that word. We trying to wake up Jacob, whom you are. Right. All right, we got to stop being black out here. Black is played out. Right. Black, your black is fading. Maybe you watched it too much. <laughs> All right, read that. My little children. My little children, go ahead. These things I write unto you. These things I write unto you. Read. That ye sin not. That ye what? That, that ye sin, sin not. not. What does the Father want us to do? That, that ye sin, sin not. not. The Heavenly Father wants us to sin not. So that's why he got us out here. What y'all what y'all boys get into? Right? You know what sin is? How about you? You know what sin is? What's sin? Can you hear me? Huh? What is sin? What is sin? What is sin? How about you? That's not really funny. He can come with something better than that. Right, right. I mean, that's like Kevin Hart funny. Right? I mean, that's not really all that funny. I'm asking about your sins. Come here to one of the most out. We here for you. We here for you, brother. My goodness, man. <laughs> the love of many shall wax cold. That's right. Right? Read that. My little children, right? these things write I unto you, right? that ye sin not. That you sin not. The Father wrote this Bible so that we don't sin. Read on. And if any man sin, and if any man sin, go, we have an advocate with the Father. Right. We have an advocate to the Father. You can't go through Christ and say, because Christ came so I can sin now, so I can eat whatever I want to eat. You got to advocate with the Most High that when you falter, he's going to speak in your behalf. Right. An advocate is somebody that speaks for you, that says, you know what? Don't kill Caroline. She didn't mean it. Right? Maybe next time she'll listen to the word of the Most High. That's the advocate speaking in her behalf. Read. Yahushai Hamashiach. The righteous. Right. Hamashiach, the righteous. Whom the world calls Jesus Christ, the righteous. He's an advocate for those that are trying to keep his commandments. But if you're not trying to keep his commandments, he got nothing for you. Give me that, um, those that I, that I would not reign over them, bring them before me and slay them. I think it's uh, Matthew 23. Bring them before me and slay them. Right. Because if you're not, if you're not going to follow, trust me, Christ got two sides too. He's an advocate for you. But that advocate, if you turn your back on him, he'd be the first one to bring that drama to you also. Right? right? Don't believe, don't believe the hype. Right? 
God is not all love. He also hates. He also is envy. He also is jealous. Everything that God, everything you are, God is. The Bible, the, the churches teach you God is all love. That's not what the Bible says. All right? God, the Bible says God hates. Right? The Bible says that he gets angry. Christ was a representative of God. Did not Christ get angry? Did he not flip the tables in the church? Talking about you making my father's house a house of merchandise? Didn't he do that? I think Christ was upset that day. Right? So why are you going to think that God can't be upset? Why do you think that God is all love and love only? Y'all found it? Luke right? 19 and 27. 19 and 27? Yeah. Matthew 19 27? Luke, Luke, Luke 19 27. The what? Right? We have to understand the God we serve, he said he made us in his image. Don't you get upset? Right. Right. Don't you get angry? Right. Don't you love things, like things, don't like things? You made in his image, so he does. He has all those feelings too. Right. God has every feeling that you have. He just happened to be on point with his. Right. Read that. Luke chapter 19 verse 27. Bring it out. But those my enemies. Those my what? Those, those my enemies. enemies. So Christ has enemies in this world. That's right. A lot of us is an enemy to God and Christ. Right. Because when we speak about him, you don't want to hear about him. When we tell you to keep God's laws, you say, I ain't got time for that. Right? I, I, I'm, I'm out here to chill. I'm out here to, to, uh, to have people lust after me. That's what I came out here to do. Right. Read. But those my enemies, right. which would not that I should reign over them. Those that don't want to follow Christ, read. Bring hither and slay them before me. God said, bring them here and, I'm a, and slay them before me. That's right. Take their head off before me. Right. You don't want to You don't want to be with me? You ain't going to be with nobody. How you like that? Right. right? That's a jealous power for you. If you ain't going to follow me, you're not going to follow nobody. Right. Because God is a jealous power. Right. All right. A lot of people don't understand jealousy. Jealousy is a, is a strong emotion, and God is jealous. And he's jealous over his own children. Right? He's jealous over his people. He don't want you to serve nobody else but him. There's only one God, he said. That's why he keeps telling us all through the Bible. Give me that. I'm jealous over you. Um, right? There's only one God in the Bible. Right. There's not no two gods. You can't choose what God you want to serve. Right. You can't have a lemon meringue God right. or a peach cobbler God. There's only one. Right? You got no choices. All you gotta do is get with him or not. Right. Serve or be served. Read. Nahum chapter 1 verse 2. Uh -huh. God is jealous and the Lord revengeth. The Lord revengeth and is furious. And he is what? And is furious. <laughs> the most high is furious. Right? He said God is jealous and he revenges. And he's furious. Right. We're trying to take the fury of God off of you. Right? And get you into the love and the grace and the joy of the Heavenly Father. Right? But the fury of God is hot. Right. So we got to make sure that we don't, we don't want none of that smoke. Some people say they want that smoke. I hope I look, he want that smoke. Right? But he don't really want that smoke. Right, right. You think you do? You don't really want it. Yeah. I pray to y'all that one day my people see them chariots spreading the word in them streets, but my people not hearing us. I pray that we make it through the fire. This world gon' take us.